12. And what did it say? And I saw the dead, small and great, mm -hmm. stand before God. Uh -huh. And the books were open. Uh -huh. And another book was open, yes. which is the book of life. Yes. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book uh -huh. Uh -huh. according to their work. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, let me decrease in my flesh. Lord, forgive me for my sins of omission and commission, the things I've done against thee. If I hurt anybody, please help them to forgive me. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. On your way to the seat, say, God has sent me. God has sent me. Our RSVP. Our RSVP. Just <laughs> say it the quick. Say, God has sent me. God has sent me. Our RSVP. Our RSVP. Somebody just said what it was. What it was, the pastor, what it mean, pastor? Our response. Response. See who play. That's French. See how God do. I just watch this. What y'all got to do? I'm sure how God do. What y'all got to do? I sent my grandson uh, over I read it because you know I, I can read uh, some things, but French I'm not that good with other than we we. <laughs> So I sent my grandson to ask my uh, my vocabulary specialist to help me uh, with the French word. Oh, don't see how God worked with me. The French announcement for a RSVP, and they brought me back the uh, uh, the meaning of it. I said, "Well, no, no, I ain't gonna be able to say that, Amen, like that." I said, "So I'm gonna have to call somebody." To say. But when I said it. Uh, 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 people of God, the woman of God gave us the French meaning of what it means. Say it again, sister. Respond, they speak who play. Did I say it right? Somebody go home and say the pastor speaking French now. God has sent you a RSVP. It's going to be short, but it's going to be to the point. How many used to go out to parties? Oh. Yeah. Ain't nothing but a song. Oh, y'all, I don't know that. Yeah. Look, Denise, you know it too good. Was Sam Cook? I knew you would know who it was, Tony. And Luther sang it to the stand. Yeah, all you bar hoppers, y'all know them songs. Hey, man. <laughs> When you get an RSVP, it's usually for an engagement or a party. Why ain't nobody gonna help me? And they want you to respond to it. Amen. Hey, now watch this. Uh, when you get one of these many guests planned to attend the parties, this could either mean one or two things. First, it could mean that. Uh, People want to make sure who coming. And then you want to make sure how to prepare for those who are coming and who are not coming. So the response SVP is not only for those telling that's coming, but those who are not coming just respond also. Oh, y'all don't get what I'm saying. God has given each one of them. I'm going to preach this quick today. I'm going to let y'all go home because uh, I'm going to go eat. My son is taking me to eat. But I've noticed something. If you don't have a sponge, you want to absorb the word of God anyway. The Bible says, blessed are they who hunger and thirst after righteousness. They shall be filled. You ain't going to no buffet if you want to eat toast. Y'all just missed that. You ain't going to no, you ain't going to no buffet. You ain't going to home style. If you say we know but a biscuit and some butter. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. So God wants us to see this. He has sent you an RSVP. Just the fact that you're here today, he has sent you an invitation asking you are you coming to the party. Are you coming to the party? Now, what, what is the party? The ultimate party. How many went to some great parties in your life where you knew it was going to be off the chain food, good music? Come on, y'all. Y'all ain't, like ain't been out. You know they were going to have everything. Oh, come on, you, 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 certain people, you know you're going to their party. Yeah, yeah. Certain people, oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Certain people, you, when you see the RSVP coming around, you say, oh, I'm going to see him quick. 
Oh, I ain't got no black hair. Used to drink and smoke. And y'all like so. Y'all ain't got no puff, puff, pass, pass. You responded to me. You responded to me. RSVP. And some of you that didn't get no RSVP, you were upset because you never got one. So since God today has told me to let you know, Manny, that he is sending you a RSVP, and he wants to find out, are you coming or not? All right. What, what party, Pastor? You keep saying party. Well, watch this. Some of us have lived our lives so wonderfully free that party don't owe you nothing. Some of you don't have so much fun, you, have, you don't have another day. You, you already didn't have enough fun. Some of us have got to the point where we might have kept partying, but our bodies told us we had to stop. Uh oh, uh oh. No, you missed that. Yeah. If, if anybody noticed, uh, when you knew me years ago, I, I didn't have no glasses, but if I don't put on glasses now, so I can't read, yo. Anybody got up this morning and heard a snap, crackle, and pop? You wasn't no cereal, wasn't it? Right? Oh, y'all ain't going to be If anybody got up to jump out the bed, but somebody said, uh oh, you can't move. Like that. Anybody had to go to the bathroom and you couldn't hardly make it? But the, the body, oh, y'all ain't going to help me. They're not going to help us. So you just can't move. Like it. You young folks don't know about this yet, Erica. But it's coming a day when you're going to jump out the bed and you're going to say, Lord, let me get to the bathroom. Because time. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. It's making a shame. Yes, it is. When I was young, when I was young, before your daughter was born, I had long black curly hair, way in it. You had it too. But as time went now, I had to get my hair cut so the bald spot won't look so bald. Brother <laughs> Dave, Brother Dave took care of my hair cut the other morning. I was on my way to hear it. I was in the barber shop and I had them. I said, Ray, cut it down where you can't see the bald spot. <laughs> so then I looked at a picture that somebody sent me on email or something on my text and showed a picture when I was young with all that long black girl in here. I said, Lord, look what it used to be. <laughs> but what I'm trying to tell you is we need to answer the RSVP. God sent it to you. Are you going to sign it and send it back? Or are you going to put on there, I'm not coming? Somebody here, you say, well, Pastor, I'm going to do that. How about I put it? I'm not coming to God. Well, you do it when you don't love. You do it when you have malice in your heart against folk when you act like you don't. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. You do it when you do Proverbs 16 in the church. When you come into church and you have hawk, hawky spirits and, 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 and have negative spirits in the church, you are signing to him that although you know about the party was coming, you had a preview, but you are not coming because you cannot live up to what God expects for you to do. And if you read 1 Corinthians 13, get it coming. 13 is one. Somebody get it coming. Oh, I'm, I'm almost finished up, Steve. I want you to hear this. I don't want no bunch of, and I quit preaching. I feel like preaching. Uh, I mean, this is going, I feel like preaching. I feel like getting up and going off. Amen? Uh, because I want you to know it's more than serving God than just coming to church and pretending you got it all together. Okay. That pastor, I, I, have, I have some sinful nature. I, I say this all the time, and I'm not going to stop saying it. I said it here yesterday. You that come to church is smoking anything. Come to church. I don't care if you're smoking crack. I don't care if you're smoking cigarettes. I don't care if you're smoking hashish. Hope you ain't got that man. Anyway. I don't know about that. Dude. That's gone. That's, 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 that's gone. That's gone. One more school. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're drinking. I don't care if you got still. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me fix this. God wants you to come to church so you can get right. And people tell me that you shouldn't be in the church drinking. You shouldn't be. You just shut your mouth. Jesus died for the sinner. What makes us so holy we can't be bothered with them? 
What makes me so holy? I got to point out the misguided lies of folk when God helped me stop being a whole mother. And oh, y'all just missed that too. <laughs> and an adulterer, some of you been so bad, you just didn't get caught. They told on me. Some of them didn't tell on you, but they could have told on me. <laughs> and even some of you smooth people done some things you didn't get caught because like you were smooth as a menthol snowball. So see, nobody knew what you done, but God saw what you done. <laughs> Some of you men have women that say they were never going to mess around, but they were messing around every weekend. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. Can I keep it real, man? And then we come to church and we get saved and God comes out like, then we are holier than now. And everybody else that's doing wrong, we're condemning them. The devil is a liar. We have to, it's a process for getting saved. There's a process for coming to Christ. There's a process you have to go through. And it ain't going to happen overnight. I still got things I'm wrestling with. Oh, you know, Pastor, you ain't got nothing to wrestle with. I'm still, so that's part I see you wrestling. I know what you're wrestling against. Because the Bible says, you wrestle not against flesh and blood. See, some of you looking at the situation, it ain't the people you're fighting. It's the adversary that's coming after you. And whenever you say you're going to do something for God, I want you to know the devil is hearing you. And he want to make you out of a lie because he's an accuser of the brother. And every time, see, we tell the Lord we're going to do something right, the devil point him out and say, you see, he's doing it wrong today. But the word of God says, the righteous man shall fall. Oh, y'all, did anybody say that? Let's say seven times. Or let's say, once you find somebody fell once, get rid of them. No. No. And so somebody said to me, I heard a great man school, but they ain't got enough uh, gumption to tell me to my face. Uh -oh. Did I kill people the right to sin? You ain't gonna give nobody no right to sin. People gonna sin because we we naughty by nature. Right. Do you know partiality is a sin? Yes. Do you know if you walk in church and don't speak to certain people, you sin it? Yes. Do you know if you walk in church and you don't talk to certain people? I'm telling you right now, if it's certain people you don't want to talk to, you shouldn't be in church. You should stop. Wait a minute, boy, I shouldn't say this. But if you don't have love for one another, you need to stay at home. Oh, y'all missed that. Because Jesus was what? Jesus was what? He was so much love, Lisa, he had a, a blues group to sing the song. So some of y'all would hear it back then. And the comment was, the comment was saying, Jesus. Yes, that was good. Sing it, Pastor. Ah, y'all remember that? Yes. He sung that back then to bring us so we would know that Jesus is love. Right. So if he couldn't get you in the church, he got you on WUFO. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, y'all missing that. If he couldn't get you in the church, he got you on BLK. <laughs> Wherever you can get you, he got your attention. Because Jesus is love. So today, I'm closing. If you do not answer the RSVP and say, Lord, I am content to come to heaven. And not only just sign the paper, but start following the directions of the Word of God. It's all in here. Tiffany, everything we want to do is in here. It's in here. Everything in life is in here. Anything we're going through, marriage is in there. Boyfriend is in there. Girlfriend is in there. Uh, money problems. Amen. Anger problems. All of us in there. Some of you right now don't even realize you got ADHD. Touch. You don't even realize it because you've been that way so long it become part of your nature. And so watch this. When God sends you somebody who loves you, the first thing you do is go off on them when you don't like what they say. And then once the this is the bad point I'm trying to see. If everybody telling you the same thing, should you check something out? Yes, check yourself. When they told me I was quick tempered and mean, Regina? No. <laughs> What'd you say, man? <laughs> That's my daughter back there pointing to the deck. She said I was quick tempered and mean. And, and I thought about it, Tiffany, I said, we know what, maybe I am. Joe, maybe I am. Maybe, maybe, Brother Smith, maybe that's why I was in, in the park with the boys, they acting like them, because I had to play chumper. School in school in school. I wasn't mean. I'm like, you was crazy, but the boys <laughs> And he's right, he's right. 
Watch this. Because God had me, didn't know then, man, but I was dealing with killers. I knew they were killers. Some of them had guns right up to it. One day, in the march, they were killers, man. And God let me deal with them. You're running that lead over there, man. And you had to be crazy to do it. But God, through that, that's the man there, Brother Scooter. Raise your hand, Brother Scooter, who came to me one day and said, Hal, that was my nickname. He said, something's different. And you know what, Scooter? I told him about you before you even came. Yes. I was testifying before. I didn't even know you was coming here. And I said, a young man called Scooter, lived down the street from my mother's church, said, Hal, there's something different about you now. You ain't cussing the refs out. You ain't yuck. Yeah. Somebody ought to see something different in you. Yeah. The people on my job, I get, I get to leave because they respect who I am, not by my title or how I live at that job. Yeah. Under pressure, I don't cuss folk out even if they deserve it. Are y'all listening? Yeah. Some of you think when people do wrong, they deserve to be cussed out. No, they don't. Not when you're a Christian. They deserve you to pray for them. Amen? Amen. Somebody say, I'm here ready to sign my RSVP. Amen. Come on, just take your hand like this and say, I'm going to sign today. I intend to go to the party. God called your name. He ain't got to look for your RSVP. You already signed it. The Bible says, see, the day you feel my heart. I like your hands. Today you hear my voice. That means when you hear God saying to you, you know, you need to change your lifestyle. So right now I'm going to ask you, I told you I'm going to preach long. Is anybody here that is not saved? You know what saved is? Saved means giving God your heart and saying, I believe that he died on a Friday. And some people say it wasn't Friday, but who cares about that? <laughs> All I can tell the theological that your pastor said, I am not into Greek mythology. And I just want to know he died in the third day. He rose with all power in his hand. If you just say that, man, you should be saved right now. And after you get saved, then you come to church with the Holy Ghost and you start reading the Bible. And Pastor Point will tell you, then the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. And then you should have power. You can get there. When I was young like you, Erica, and I was handsome like Tilla. <laughs> Can I call you what I want, Sister Pam? <laughs> I got saved, but I still didn't have the Holy Ghost. Sister Sharp, when the Holy Ghost comes, Brother C, then you will stop doing all the things you know. the Holy Ghost will help you not do it. But when you get saved, you still gonna go and smoke some reefer. Oh, y'all so phony. No, I'm not telling you to go do it. If you don't have to do it, don't do it. But you ain't gonna get with everything all at once. You ain't gonna stop drinking some of that Hennessy and that gin. The problem is some of you drink too much of it. Why? They still drink it. Hey, dog, 2020. Why in the head country? All your living, look, 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 Somebody say scarcely, you scarcely. Look at somebody say, you scarcely making it. You scarcely. I mean, you barely making it by the hairs of your chin to chin chin. You barely getting into heaven. Yes. The Bible said, where will the ungodly appear? So I'm asking you, not for me, not to show off. Don't you feel bad because all of us in here that stood and went through this process to stand up and say, I give my life to Christ. And if anybody here want to sign your RSVP today, stand right now. Just stand right now, right where you are. Young people included, young kids, y'all need to get saved too. My grandkids, my grandbabies, all you young people, you need to stand up and accept Christ as your personal Savior. Y'all old enough to know it. You old enough to know it. If you've never done it before, stand up. Stand up. Come on. Don't be ashamed. Look to the Lord. Look to the Lord. 
Because the, if you don't, if you, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Just stand up and say, Lord, and if you want to come back to Christ, if you've been gone too long, and you've been messed up too long, just stand up and say, Lord, I want to re-up with you.